All right, to let you know why this is the Rose Bowl and not the, and not the national title game. Well, I went with a uh, won all games, never lost, and I wind up in the Rose Bowl, not a national title. Uh, well, <laughs> it, it, I mean, just a, I mean, just the way it worked out. So, so you see the team who I'm facing under the description there. So, so yeah, so, so after this will be the Heisman and. And then the Rose Bowl game. So yeah, sorry guys, didn't have a quite a good, good enough team to go to the national title with Oregon in, in this game. So, so whoever I win the national title with, whoever. So, in my uh, review. So, so enjoy the Rose Bowl. Let you know they're both wrong. <laughs> so, Rose Bowl game. I'll keep quiet throughout the game. So, so yeah. So this is just a preview of, of what I'm gonna do on it on it. So football await. So, yeah. I kind of wish I'd be in the next title game, but yeah. Oh well. It, it's fine with me. So here we go. Tough 
toughest defenses we've seen. I agree 100%. Just look at what they've done so far. Some very impressive numbers. Well, this attacking defense is very, very athletic, and they're also well coached. That's why they're the top of it. And he's all the way down to the three-yard line. Good catch, and can this guy fly or what? I couldn't agree with you more. This kid's got to be one of the fastest guys that we've had the privilege of seeing all year. on this one. Here's the give. That's a great tackle at the 22-yard line. The offense couldn't get those linemen blocked, and they'll lose yards. Well, here the defensive lineman did a great job in sealing up the hole at the line of scrimmage. The Ducks bring in their dime package. Surveys the field. Oh, great catch. And he's all the way down to the 48-yard line. Great pass play. This guy comes up with a big catch here. He's got good hands. And when he's on, there's no one in America that can catch him. We've got a first and ten. The Nittany Lions line up with three wide. Throws it out there. Catches it. And down he goes at the 41-yard line. You know, it's really easy to overlook those guys on the line. Yeah, the defense came after them, and those linemen held them long enough for the quarterback to throw for a first down. The defense comes out of the dime package. It's the tailback. They'll knock him down for a loss. Man, I sure wouldn't want to be hit by that kid. That's not baby fat on him anymore. He weighs 300 pounds plus. I don't know if I'd be calling him a kid. Well, I'm not the one out there taking the hits either, my friend. The Ducks line up with six defensive backs. Throws it to two, and it's gone. Great concentration. They'll get two on that one. Third and ten. Ball in the 41 yard line. The Nittany Lions. Line up with four wideouts. It's past the tackler. He breaks the second tackle. And he can't get away from the pressure. BT looks to have been shaken up a bit on that play. He looks like he's going to be able to overcome this knee injury, guys. Nothing, a little ice we should take care of. Him. Penn State lining up the punt. Pacinger will be the return man. Plenty of hang time on this one. 
Haysinger takes it to 15. Well, I'll tell you guys, a passing game was sure on target during their last drive. And the quarterback had great protection by his offensive line. When he gets time, he can pick you apart. I would try and establish a good running game with this play. The offense will start at the 15-yard line. Dixon comes to the line with three wide. They keep it on the ground on the tailback. Stewart gets three yards on the carry. you got to take what the defense gives you here. Second and seven. Ball on the 18. Dixon with a nice play fake. He throws it. this defense respects the running game. They got sucked in here on the play action and got beat on the pass. Good play call. It's just a matter of pitch and catch. Go, go get it done. First down, 10 yards to go. Oregon lines up for the shotgun set. Drops back to pass. Fires deep down the right side. He's going to take it to the barn. Touchdown. Stewart 
the deep pass, but they line up in the eye. Stewart will run it again. Touchdown, Ducks. All right, so the team is down by three touchdowns in the first quarter. So what do you tell those kids on the sideline? Well, I look in the eye and I say, hey, there's more than three quarters to go. It's your choice. You're going to lie down and lose by 50. Oh, man up, dig yourself out of this hole so you can head into halftime with something to work for. They'll line up for the point after. And he adds the extra point. So now there's just a few seconds left in the first quarter with a score, Oregon. 21, Penn State, nothing. Oregon is lining up to kick this one off. Number 22 and number 21 need to return. And this one's a short kick. Number 21 takes it to 12. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes down out of the field for their next position. First down, 10 yards to go. Number 33 lines up as a single back. Setting up the play action. He's looking. Number 14 throws. Ball. Brings him down at the 34 yard line. About six yards on the foot. It's already started to get out of hand at the end of the first. Our score is Oregon 21, Penn State nothing. It's second and four to go. Ball in the 34. Oregon comes out defensively with six defensive backs. And he tackles it hard. 37 yard line. Three yard gain by the running back. for the X. 
extra point here. Thank you. 
all kinds of NCAA records to go ahead and explain. He's a super football player. Congratulations on the record. Here's the try for the extra point. Number 21. 
the Nittany Lions. Come out showing three wide. On the ground, right side. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Penn State will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. Second down at 12 to go. Ball on the 17. Penn State lines up with three receivers. He drops back. It is in close. And that one's fallen incomplete. That's what a good pass rush can do for him. Yeah, they got the quarterback's face and made it tough on him to throw a good pass. It's third down. Second half, just about set to get underway as the teams line up for the kick. He kicks off. Hasinger takes it to 14. And now we'll see the offense coming out, out of the field for their next possession. As a quarterback, you got to be aware of what the defense is throwing at you. First and 10. Dixon is back in the gun. Dixon drops the throw. Flings it right. Got it to the senior. 
That quarterback has rifled that one in there for a good game. Boy, he's throwing the football with some pop, isn't he, Coach? Hey, if he's not careful, he's going to break his receiver's fingers. you got to take what the defense gives you here. From their own 49-yard line, first down. Dixon has four receivers lined up here. Dixon gives it left. Knocked out of bounds at the 29. That was a pretty good run. Incredible effort there, running the football by this guy. This is what college football is all about. It's first and ten. Ball on the 29-yard line. Three wideouts here. Option left side. Follows the ball. As a coach, I'm trying to show the defense just enough for them to fight on a similar play later on. It's like a chess match out there. Stewart is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Stewart on a pitch out. He's knocked out of bounds at the 11 yard line. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. Yo, nice run and good job to keep the chain through. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'd be hard to keep them out of the end. The pressure turns up when you're this close to the goal line. Let's take a look at the numbers. Brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone. The deodorant for the experienced man. Oregon lines up for the shotgun set. Dixon options on the left. Touchdown. And he managed to find the end zone again. Yep, this quarterback has had so much fun in the end zone the first time, he decided to make another appearance. So the kicking team will line up for the point after. the extra point. Over four minutes remaining here in the third quarter. And the score, Oregon 59, Penn State 10. Oregon is ready to kick it away. Short kickoff. Number 21 takes it to 12. Not once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive.
Jets will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. The defense lines up with five defensive backs. Number 14 passes. Great concentration. Nice little pitch and catch with the wide axe. Two back receivers spend a lot of time together. The coaches say they stay after practice just working on their timing, and right there it paid off. It's first and ten. They're in the eye. Look at the throw. Going deep on the left side. And it's picked off. And yeah, we got an injured player on the field. Whoa, this would be a huge loss for this team. Let's hope this guy can get back into the game. Take over at the two. Dixon lines up with three receivers on his right. Stewart off the left side. A great defensive effort there. And let me tell you, the key to that play was right there in the defensive line. They tied this offensive line up and allowed their linebackers to come up and make a big play. Lee, I agree with you. We always talk about the linebackers and safeties, but credit the big guys up front for that play. Oregon comes out of the shotgun. They hand it off. They'll bring him down at the 11-yard line. A nine-yard pickup by the tailback on the counter play. you got to be able to convert these short yardage situations. This may be the difference between winning and losing. Dixon has trips to his left. Stewart gets another carry. He sheds it. Tackle made at the 21. And that run was good for big yardage there. Here's one thing I noticed, Kirk. It looked like he ran the same play twice in a row. Twice. And let me tell you, if they continue to have success like this, I wouldn't be surprised if they run it maybe three, maybe even four times in a row. First and ten. Dixon lines up with five wide out. Dixon looking to throw on first down. Dixon lost the ball. Looks like a defensive lineman might have it, and he does. The defense recovered the ball. Kirk, do they still have a shot? You know, I think you can pretty much call this one over. Has four receivers lined up here. Drops back to pass. End zone. Incomplete. Number four was the intended target on the play. That'll make it second down. Five yards from a touchdown. From the gun. End zone. And it's intercepted in the end zone. How about that defensive play? What I liked here was the way the defense reacted as soon as the ball was thrown and allowed them to come up with the interception. What I didn't like was the decision by the quarterback. He's a smart kid. He knows better than to throw a pass like that. I'm telling my quarterback in this situation to look at the defense and audible to a better play if he has to. Dixon has trips to the right. Gets it to the back. Tackle at the 34. He picked up big yardage on that run. Oh, this is great blocking up front. Nice job of holding on to their blocks, allowing him to break through for some big yards. As a coach, you've got to be concerned with what the defense is throwing at you. I tell my quarterback to take what the defense is giving you. Dixon is back in the gun. He drops back, looking, he rolls left, he throws right, the senior makes the catch. He looked like he threw that one about as hard as he could. Now sometimes you have to, you just got to make sure the defense can't get to it, so you put a little extra zip on the throw, just like he did there. I'll tell you what, that ball looks like a missile with laces. From the 47-yard line, first down. The defense is playing the pass on this one. He'll get it again. Brought down at the 42-yard line. Stewart. 
Stewart. Gains about five yards on the run. Yes, so I'm telling you, run this play. It's second down. Three wide. Dixon with the option. And they make the stop at the 49 yard line. They go with the option and pick up the first down. And that was just good instincts. You have to know when to pitch it or when to keep it. And in that situation, the quarterback knew he could pick up the first, so he kept it himself. Very good decision. First and ten. Makes the handoff. He's drilled as he throws. Got it to him on the run. Good pickup by the receiver. Yeah, this kid loves the play. He wants the ball every time they do it. They call it the red zone when you're inside the opponent's 20 yard line. Now's the time when experience really comes into play. Let's have a look at our Old Spice red zone numbers. Going with the shotgun here. Look at the throw. He looks, fires, he goes up and gets it, it's a touchdown. Another touchdown pass, that is number three. You know what, it takes a lot of courage to play quarterback at the college level. And with that touchdown pass, this kid's showing how courageous and confident he really is. for the point after. And he converts the extra point. So that brings us to the end of the quarter. And at the end of three, our score, Oregon 66, Penn State 6. Sends it off. Number 21 takes it for the six. You know who's trembling right now? Well, it's not the defense. They played well all game. And they'll go to work at the 27 yard line. put in a new quarterback, and I can't blame him because four picks is way too many. Nice play fake. He keeps it. He's tackled at the 37. So that one goes for a decent game. And guys, his running ability sure makes it hard to stop. No doubt about it, Brad. Whenever you have a fast quarterback like this guy, it just adds another element to your offense. The Lions set up in the gun. They'll go with a fullback. Bacon brings it down for a loss, and they lose a couple there. It's second down at 12. Ball on the 35. Ball on the 35 yard line. They come out of the nickel. They go with the run. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. The defense just swarmed over him on that. Yeah, they were able to penetrate the offensive line and get to the running back before that play even had a chance. It's third down and 14 to go. Ball on their own 33. Defense is in the nickel. He drops back. Steps up. Looking. He's got to throw it in a hurry. And there's a penalty on the play. Let's see what's on.
the punt team is on the field looking to kick this one away. Number 42 awaits the snap. He gets it away. Haysinger takes it to 33. Passing wasn't much of a problem the last time this offense had the ball as they were able to get it in for six. Just go out and let your receivers make a play. They'll start this drive at the 36-yard line. Dixon hands it off. And down he goes at the 41-yard line. Stewart gains about five yards on the run. With the lead and the ball, you don't want to do anything stupid here. Just hold on to the ball and stay in bounds. Dixon has trips to his left. Dixon will hand it off, and he's stopped behind the line. That was a fantastic play by this defense. You're right. Poor halfback. He had nowhere to go. In order to make this third down, you've got to be conscious of that first down line. Third down and seven. Ball on their own 39. Here's the option. Pitches back. They just decided to play it safe there, guys. You're exactly right. You don't take chances for a turnover in this situation. Good, smart play call. one off and it's a beauty. Number 21 fields it at the 19. So he managed to get a few yards on the run back. Yeah, but I'll tell you, Brad, with so much traffic in the middle there, it really makes it tough to break free. This drive will start at the 25. Number 8 lines up in the deep back. High formation. Play action. He's looking for his man. They can't connect. Incomplete. Hello, sweetheart. Now that's how to break up a pass. That one had completion written all over it. But the young man on defense delivered a good enough hit to knock the ball loose. He sure did. There was no way he was going to let that receiver catch that one. Penn State goes for the ace set here. He just fully Brings it down for a loss. Loss of about two. Third down. Number 17, the three wide receiver, brought down at the 28 yard line. It'll be short of the first half of the completion. A good effort by the defense to make sure they got him before he got to the ball. Chung is back awaiting the punt. Punts the ball away. Harper takes it to the 32. Well, the offense couldn't get anything going on their last drive. Let's see if they can do a little bit better here. I just let the players go out there and have some fun here. They'll go to work at the 37-yard line. Dixon has four receivers lined up here. Dixon will hand it off. He's taken down at the 47-yard line. How about that? This back just surpassed 200 yards rushing on the day. Coach, this guy's had a great game. As long as they keep giving him the ball, I really doubt that they're going to relinquish the lead. All right, keep it on the ground and try to run the clock out here. From their own 47-yard line, it's first down. Dixon has trips to the right. Stewart 
That was a message. Put me in the next towel next time. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was over since it's the first half. I just had a great game. <laughs> Penn State showed nothing. And plus, this is kind of a little bit of a revenge from the 95 Rose Bowl where Penn State beat Oregon. So, kind of a rematch there. It's got a Rose Bowl trophy. Here, I'll give you my season dynasty rundown here. See that one loss on USC? That was me. <laughs> I beat USC, but somehow they wind up as number four. So. See, that's who's in the national championship is Louisville and Florida. Boo. Oops. Okay. Okay, here's my season rundown. Shout out Houston. Shout out Michigan while, while they're number two. I wasn't ranked yet. Whoop to whoop Fresno. Took care of Stanford. Now that's my closest win of the season against Cal by two touchdowns. I uh, shout out Washington State. Beat the crap out of Washington. There's USC, 48 to 21. <laughs> then uh, Arizona State, well, at Austin, 48 13. And 44 to 7. And I was just on a path of destruction there, 35 to 10. Civil War, shutout. And that was it. So this team showed no mercy pretty much the whole season. Alright, guys, I'll be back. With, with well, hopefully this game, or if not more, the NASCAR 6 total team control as well. So, I'll be back with those.